Hi guys, this is Joy with Obsessed with Scrapbooking and today I'm going to show you some fun information about how to use text in the Cricut Design Space 3 program. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is start a new project by clicking on this plus button down here and then off to the left I'm going to click this button that says text. Now I'm going to add some text in here. I'm going to say, um, you know, summer fun. Okay, so there's my summer fun. Now, I'm going to bring this up a little bit. Let's bring this up a little bit so we can see. Well, maybe over here. All right, now, I want to change this font. So I go up here under font, and I click on that, and I can see all my fonts. Really all my fonts because that's what's labeled, all my fonts. Let's say I want to use a font from my computer. I just click on system, and I can see all the previews. That's really nice and I just scroll down to find one I want. So I just scroll down here and I'm gonna go ahead and pick a font just for fun. So let's go ahead and do this one and now it just changes to that. Very simple, right? Now, if I wanted to go ahead and use, I could click on font anytime, I could go ahead and just use Cricut fonts. So I click on the Cricut button and I could also, and I could find the fonts I want here, they're all, and you just highlight them and it changes, like I showed you. Or I can search fonts. So let's say I just wanna see the close to my heart fonts. I just type in close and they all come up here. And so I can take a look at those. Okay, I'm gone ahead and I'm going to choose a new font called Library. It's in the Cricut fonts, I happen to know about it, so <laughs> that's helpful. Now there's a couple ways I can resize this. I can always drag these. That's all, it's very easy to do. Just whoop, whoop, you know, in and out on this, this bottom handle. Um, I can, you know, and I can also use this button in the upper right that can turn it. All right, and I'm actually gonna undo to make sure I got that going correctly, um, you know, <clears throat> straight. Um, I can also go over here to do font size and increase it that way. Now, there's a little, um, box here that says letter space and that's the space between the letters so I'm going to decrease that because I want to weld these together to make a title so I very carefully for about six years now <laughs> I just keep smushing them together as you'll see and then this is one way to make your title and weld it I will show you another way in a minute but usually you can use this letter space Keep clicking so they're touching and then you would go down to this bottom right toolbar and you would click on weld and now the title is welded so except for this S and this F which I didn't know I didn't want to um, weld you don't have all those pieces to cut out in full width so isn't that great now I can still make that bigger it's all one piece now so pretty cool. All right, let's take another look at some text. And we're going, it still remains, stayed with the text I put in before. And let's say we're gonna say summer fun on two lines. I'll bring this up so you guys can see it. All right, now you can, besides dealing with the letter space, you can deal with the line space. That's the space between lines. So let's make these a little bit closer. Click, click, click click or you could start entering numbers like minus 0.5 that'll come up so let's do minus 5 okay so, so now the title's closer this also means you could make it so close let's do minus 8 that they're touching now I don't know if you want it touching but you could because then you could weld that together that doesn't look very good, so I don't know that I would do that, but you could do that. And then you could also smush these letters together, so you could weld that. So there's a lot of ways to play around to create titles. Unfortunately, at this time, we cannot do a shadow around all these letters, but hopefully soon Cricut will provide that. Okay, and then to make sure we get this welded, if you just click it like that, it's still not welded. You must go down to this bottom left, I mean this bottom right and click weld. There you go. Now once you've welded, there's no changing these distances or doing anything different. So let's say you did this and you go, 
I don't like that, that's not close enough or whatever, just click the undo button and undo and it comes back. <laughs> then you could go ahead and make the letter space tighter if you wanted to. Now, some of this looks a little clunky, you see here. Another way you could do things is you could click on the text button and I could do one text box that says summer, all right? And then I could do another text box that says fun. So I have two text boxes. So in this case, I could put this underneath this like so. I could move this around. I have a little more room with it. Same thing if I wanted to go ahead and make this S touching this U. So what I would do in that case, I would go ahead and make a text box with S. Then I would make a text box with Ummer <laughs> for summer, all right? And then, hang on, I gotta grab that. And then I would do something. Well, I would get these, here's what I would do. I would get these um, close together. So let's do minus two, okay? That R looks bad though, see? So that R might need to be also separated out. I'm not sure I like the R, right? I don't know, what do you think? He's kinda not sitting there as best as you like. Okay, there we go, ooh, pretty good. All right, so I've got that kind of worked out. And then I would touch this, make sure the letters are touching, as so, as such, if you will. And then I could go ahead. I would group all that by clicking and dragging. Oh, wait. Make sure that doesn't happen. Move that out of the way. I would click and drag like that. Once you've grouped it like that, since there are two different text boxes, then you could go ahead and weld. And now you have your welded pieces. So it looks a little bit different. Okay, so that's some information on how to go ahead and make a welded title. All right, I hope you have a great day. Take care.